All right, guys, it's lights out here. Here for part two of my first ever episode of Friday Night Fights. I'm in light heavyweight now. Boom, Sugar Rashad Evans, and I'm waiting right here. And he picks creative fighter Billy Hill. Now, normally I would never, ever fight a creative fighter just because they can be so broken, but for the purpose of the show, why not? Maybe just social pe people, why you shouldn't accept fights against these kind of guys. Just take the John Jones route and duck, duck and run. But um, as you can see, he's much faster. Reach, height. He's got. He's pretty much just spamming. I mean, I didn't think he was a, playing the whole, this match. I didn't think he was very good, but it was just I was just overmatched skill wise. As you can see, I I would probably have to do like four transitions to get him out of his guard, as he's just grapple blocking pretty much. Again, he's just his punches are just so quick, and they do much more damage than my strikes. That, and I have to get in close. I can't stay out there and try to time him because with his reach, if I stay outside, he's just gonna pick me to pieces. So I gotta get inside, and then, bam, that happens, and I'm down now. And that's the last thing you want: the creative fighter on top of you. Another see, technique transition. So I hit him with the sweep. Good thing about being Rashad Evans, slam. And, you know, those high knees. If you pick a fighter like Rashad Evans or Donald Cerrone that has those high knees, throw them. I mean, you got them. Use them. It might be cheap, but you got to win the fight, right? <laughs> but, um, yeah, at this point, I'm feeling pretty good, actually. First round. Got him on the ground. Did pretty decent in the striking. See, he's got, he's got um, butterflies. Yeah, okay, and we'll see the rest of the techniques he has in the next two rounds. Things start to change a little bit. Here, uh, like I said, even though I was able to beat him on the ground in the last in the last round, I still want to go with the striking just because I like the striking better. I like to stand up and fight. Give the fans what they want to see, right? Entertain them. But, um, he's just too fast. Too much technique. I'm taking too much damage. Kicks, punches, everything just looks like a freaking he's he's Neo and I'm just a normal guy. But yeah, and he just starts spamming and there we go again. I take him down because I'm tired of it. Actually, get him in one transition. He was probably turning about to go for a transition. And there's a technique sweep. Another, and he's going for a technique transition right there too. And you know I was able to get him off that time. So back to standing, but he's pretty much got my number now. He's got me figured out, and and here's a here's a rare a rare sight, a doctor stoppage. You don't you don't see this too often. Um, thankfully, the fight was not stopped, as at this point in the fight, still pretty close, and I immediately take him down because I'm not. Of course, I don't want to get stopped, and there's there's that. I take him down, and he just flips me over. That's why you don't fight a creative fighter ever. Full guard, and he was just able to flip me over. Let's see, I'm trying to strike with him, but now he's just spamming. He's just going to spam that kick, the same punches over and over again. And there's not much I can do, because at this point, my head is taking too much damage. Got to take him down, and then, of course, he's going to do something. No, good reversal by me. Not enough. Re if I had a little bit more time, I probably wouldn't. A little bit more time, a little bit more stamina. You see, I'm starting to run out of stamina, run out of energy. His guy, of course, probably had 90. I didn't check. I should have checked. He probably had 99 stamina or whatever. So he's not running out of energy anytime soon. I'm, like, depleted. I'm, like, running on an oxygen tank. They got me in the corner with the, the mask on. But at this point, I was just hoping I could win the round because I knew I lost that second round and I knew I I had at least hurt him so if I could win the round maybe I could steal a decision because I, I knew I definitely definitely won the first round so full mount right here but of course he's got he's got transition to get out of that too and even full mount up he can get out of it and flip me over like I said do not do not, do not, do not ever fight creative fighter. As you can see, I'm just, now I'm just getting pumped. And I have no stamina, no nothing. Body damage, head damage, no stamina. Able to sweep out of it. And hold him on the cage. And now, 
at this point, I wish if I had more stamina, I would have been able to win. But um, here's a sub. Sub game isn't too good, but so I'm able to wriggle out of it. When he should have definitely had me. I had no stamina. I don't know how he wasn't able to tap me with a creative fighter. Like I said, he wasn't that good. And I should have beat him. But no energy left. 30 seconds. Had him. Had him where I wanted him, but no stamina. Able to float me back over. And at this point, I'm just going to survive and take a decision. And, you know, we've seen fights where... The decision goes away, maybe it shouldn't have. So I was still holding on to some kind of hope, but he gets a 29-28 decision win. That's it.